Okay, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and good afternoon. Today we will start our first like online lecturing in computer and programming one. Okay, for today meeting we will use the new software. The name is Flowbodytum. You can search in Google and download this software. This software is free, and this software can be used to make flowchart. And from the from that flowchart we can. Uh, you can derive the code of this this that, that flowchart. Okay, if you have this for if you have successful installed this program, you can open this program by double click the shortcut in desktop, or you can find in start menu. Okay, we'll try to make the first program in global item. Okay, double click. Okay, if you successful install this program, you will get this windows. The menu of this program is same with Office or Windows. If you want to make new code, you can click File and then just New, or you can press Ctrl N. If you open, if you on, if you want to open the old program, you can open or press Ctrl O. Don't forget about the matri in flowchart. The last meeting, flowcharts have some symbol like this. This shape, at its mean shape, oval is used to as terminator. It's used to start or finish this this flowchart. If you want to define your variable or if you want to make output, okay, don't forget the material of free Pascal. If you want to make input, you can use return. If you want make if you want to make Output you can use right one. Same with this flowchart. The first, we will define the new variable. We will make the program about operation and operation between two variables. The first, we must define the new variable. If you want to define new variable, you can click this row, click, and choose to clear. This shape is used to define your variable. Okay. If you want to define your variable, you can double click in this shape and give the first variable, the name of the first variable, by num1. And you can choose the type of this variable by click this option. You can choose the type of this variable. Okay. Because we want to operate the integer numbers so for the first variable we choose the type of this variable is integer and then press ok the same step is used to to find the second second numbers same, the same step. okay we give in we give the name of the second variable by number two and the type is integers don't forget every variable that used in this program that uh, well, that are used in the program must define so the result of this of operation of these two numbers we must define by the third variable the name of the variable is result and the type is integer okay we have to find the, t the variable of this code and then for input we use output like this this is used to give syntax or comment to input the numbers don't forget because we use the string must be give must be start I push it like this. It put the numbers and the end must keeping a stop and then check this new line because if you check this line, it's mean the it mean we use the command right line in the Pascal. Yeah. Because the the because we want to input the variable, so after the syntax, you can give input, and you can give the name of this variable.
by number one. This means this means we input the first variable. Yeah. The, using the same thread, we input the second variable like this. Input the second number. Then check new line like this and to find the, the this input by number two after you successful input two numbers and the next step is you must give operation of these numbers if you want to give operations or process you can choose assign sign mean is process like calculating and so on okay. The variable of the results must input for in the left box. The result is equal to operation between number one and number two. For the first program, we use addition operation like this. Okay, and then okay. And the next, we will to display the result of these operations. So we choose the output and then give this result. If you want to display the the input you must the input of the result you must use like this this code number one and then give I will I will zoom this this display and keep the symbol of n and like this because we use the addition operation you must this this use this this symbol and then give and symbol like that and two and then this okay and then we shall okay. okay like this if you want to check this for chart it's successful or not you can press run you shot like this okay and this is the result of this code this flowchart can transfer to the other coding if you want to transfer this flowchart into Pascal you can choose this this shortcut short code viewer and and choose this this code if you want to to change into Pascal this flowchart you can choose Pascal if you want to change into C++ you can choose C++ like this if you want to save this code into the Pascal you can save by click this this toolbar like this okay yeah. and give in and, and so on okay 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 we will save this this projects into our folders by click save or choose file and save as we give a name the other three because this is the the third the third meeting I think and oh yes the, oh not the, the five I think meeting like this the other one and operation operation numbers like this yeah okay okay we will uh, we will make the next program the operation the operation between integers especially addition multiplication and subtraction the result is integers but if we if we use the division operation the results may be not integers so we must to find for the results not integer but real don't forget to save as this this code we click set as and we give the second code by the name like this we can make division yeah like this the name okay we will try to change the type of the result by this by this 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 way and the operation is this yeah and we must change this 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 place okay it checks
Decision. Okay. Yeah, and this is the end of the first the first tutorial using.